I know, so how, trying, how far trying, are we playing this game this way? We're trying to get people respect, man. Oh, no. He was just injured in a crash. I get that, and I can yard. sit there and blur the face out, right? And that's that's uh, that's why I'm not live, right? No. I don't, and, you, and I can... I've done with you, have been super decent, you're decent right now. I know you're not trying to be disrespectful. Right, but, but I'm not just let me film either. so I can blur out the... I don't want to put her, the lady's information out there, or show her blood on her face that I just got. I know. I can blur that out. I know what you But can. when you want to play this type of bull... It doesn't make you guys look good, right? You know why there's two sergeants that are not allowed to engage with me, right? With you guys? I wasn't aware. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Because of this stupid Okay. This is how you want to represent the city of Plymouth when we got bigger things going on in this city. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's James Freeman. Today's video is coming to us from Minnesota News Now on YouTube. Please everybody head over to his channel, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notified when he uploads videos or goes live. He's got a ton of content uploaded on his channel already. I'm gonna link to one of his videos that I specifically liked, but please, when you head over there, check out some of his other content. He's got a ton of awesome stuff. Today I'm showing you this video that he uploaded about three days ago called Rollover Crash in Plymouth. I want to talk about this video because it has to do with an officer getting upset that he's recording an alleged victim of a car accident. I hear people talk about this stuff all the time. Some of them saying, oh, I'll never record a victim in public, and others saying, well, it's my right to record in public, doesn't matter who or what you are. First, we're going to watch an officer blatantly violate Minnesota News Now's right to document matters of public interest from a public space using the same bullying tactics as every other oath breaker around the country. Then we're going to go over some video that I believe shows why it is so important to document everything you see, including victims. Okay. Breaking out the interior part of the sunroof. In the background there, you could hear one of the cops say, quote, that's the only way that he'll do it. They're talking about putting up crime scene tape around this non-crime scene to get rid of the camera. While cops around the country have been told that we all have the right to document things in public spaces, they've also all somehow decided that by putting up some magical yellow tape, you no longer have a right that you previously had. It does not matter what the police do or say. It doesn't matter if they put up yellow tape or if they slap handcuffs on you or if they punch you in the face. You still had a right to be there documenting matters of public interest in a public space. And anything and everything that they do to try to violate that right is a violation of the law on their part. The most troubling thing to me about the tactic of putting up crime scene tape to get rid of cameras is that crime scene tape does have a purpose. It should be put up to exclude people from areas where evidence of a crime would be collected within a crime scene. In that case, that line should definitely be respected. But because police use this crime scene tape to keep cameras away, it's difficult for us to ever know if we really shouldn't be there or if they're just trying to kick out the cameras. It's like the boy who cried wolf. Now, the one time when we really shouldn't be entering an area so that we don't disturb a crime scene, somebody might not respect that line because police have used it to show time and time again that the line is not to be respected as something to preserve a crime scene, but something to unlawfully violate someone's rights to record. Down to the fire truck, not right now, right? But I'm gonna go grab it, and then we'll just ask you to step on the other side of it, okay? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Now let's break down the logic of this. So this is not a crime scene right now. He can stay right where he's at for the moment. But as soon as the officer gets back with tape, <laughs> this will now magically be a crime scene. Why are you throwing up tape? Car accident's not a crime scene. Are you using? That's a cutter to split the top so they can wrap the hood back. Alright, fellas. Go. Got a business card? Yep. So we can play this game all day going through the swamp because I can. Okay. I will. You didn't go through the swamp? Okay. Make sure you get the whole crime scene. This is a car accident, not a crime scene.
How far does the crime scene go that way? How far does the crime scene go that way? Pretty far? Okay. And then when did the car actually get classified as crime scene? After the tape magically creates a crime scene, they realize that he can still record from behind the tape, so they move it again. So he's moving. Oh, why is it moving now? Just keep pushing the camera back, huh? Okay. Because you can't answer the question, what's the difference between a crime scene and a car accident? This is the game you want to play? Like, you know who I am, right? What? You know who I am? We're trying to investigate it. What are you investigating? Yeah, Mine's over there. You gotta move the other side. Mine's over there. How far do you want to go? Right there. You just want to keep playing this game all That's day? It. Right there. I mean, I gotta talk yeah. to your captain. And then I'll again. go from there over to the other tree if you're gonna start going down to the side. I am so. going to because I just want to stand here and get a shot. This is a good shot. What's the difference between here and there? There's the line. What's the difference? I'm dude? telling you, there's the line, man. Let's, let me give you the business card and I'll go over there. That's So you want me to be blocked by the trees over there? I'm not saying that. Well, there's a line there. What was so wrong there? Like, I don't know I, why I didn't think you were literally going to stand on the tape, right? I'm not going to stand on the tape. I'm standing right here because this is the shot. I want to see him put a perfect heart. So now I've asked you to move over there, right? You've been respectful, I've been respectful. Now I'm asking him to move over there. Did this cop really just claim to have been respectful? He's here blatantly violating somebody's right to record in public as a perceived authority figure with a belt full of weapons. So is this cop claiming to be a polite criminal? Is he like our buddy, the most polite robber out of Seattle? Can you do me a favor? Yes. Would you uh, empty that till for me, please? Put it right here. What's your name? Empty the till. Put your tills you right here. So I'm robbing you, sir. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Why do you want to do that? Because I need the money. I've got kids that need to be fed, sir. And I know. I know I am, sir. I, I realize that. And I'm really, I really am sorry to have to do this. But I've got kids. How about if I give you forty dollars and this is it? Well, I can't do that, sir. I've got rent to pay, I've got bills, and the kids need to eat. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I really am sorry, and if I ever get back on my feet again, sir, I'll bring it back. I'm sorry. God be with you, man. Thank you very much, and with you, too. Thank you. And if I That's don't, the and if I don't, you're crossing a police line, man. No, I'm not. I'm not crossing. You took the end of the crime scene. Now I'm part of the crime scene. The tape is over there. I mean, do I need to call Jeff and Patton on yeah, Monday? Yeah, let's go. Do all this. Do you just want to arrest me now? Oh. And then I can sue you, and then we go through this whole game of bullshit, right? Really? I mean, this is what people want to see, right? You guys doing a good job. But now what's going to happen is this shit. Let me show you a couple instances that prove why it's so important to record even victims. I'll leave a link to this video in the description, but what happened here was a female was beaten by three males. A family member fended the guys off. The police later arrived and saw the woman walking home down the street. The officer stopped her and asked her to give a witness statement. When she refused, likely for fear of being retaliated against by her original attackers, the deputy attacked her. Because the deputy was mad that she wouldn't give a statement as a victim, he grabbed her by the hair and threw her to the ground. She was later released with no charges and no citations. Had somebody not been recording her as a victim, they would not have caught this police officer beating the crap out of her. In a video shown on Share the Footage YouTube channel, he had been in a car accident when Mesa, Arizona police decide to pull him from the car while he's unconscious and beat him. Yes, he was the victim of a car accident, but that didn't stop the police from beating the crap out of him. The point is that when police are present on a scene, there's no telling what they're going to do. Keep the camera rolling at all times. You can always edit things out and blur people's faces out later if you want to, to have respect for victims. However, if you choose to turn your camera off or turn it away and something happens, you can never go back in time and capture it. Thanks for respecting the line, I appreciate it. You do know there's case law on this, right? You do know about qualified immunity, right? It's sad that I have to tell you this, because when I do go to sue your agency, which I haven't done, for violating the Constitution, that I'm trying not to get people's face to respect the crime scene or an accident with tragedy.
should be worried about a victim, not about what I'm doing. Okay. How far that way we play in this game? Oh, man. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. No, yeah, it really is. We want to make up imaginary crime scenes. And we have to go through a swamp. Here's the deal, right? You keep moving, I'm going to keep moving away. I know, that's, I'm going to keep going the whole way. If you want to play this game, you could have just let me stand there and film what was hey, going got, on. You got the tape up there. Oh, you got tape here too. I know. I know, so how, trying, how far are we playing this game this way? We're trying to give people respect, man. And there you have it. He told us just now he's not putting up tape for preservation of a crime scene. The tape allegedly is to try to give people respect. But what each of us feels is or isn't respectful is completely subjective. And even if everyone agrees that it's respectful not to record victims, that doesn't change the fact that you still have the right to do it. So should we apply the same principles of respect to other parts of the First Amendment? If we feel that it's disrespectful for you to cuss at police or other government employees, does that now negate your right to free speech? What if I personally feel that it's disrespectful for you to be a Christian, or a Muslim, or a Jew, or any other religion for that matter? Does that now mean that you don't have a right to exercise religion the way that you choose? I believe that the whole purpose of the First Amendment is to protect you doing and saying things that other people are not going to like. And I believe that the Second Amendment was written so that you could defend yourself against people who would violently attack you because they don't like what you're doing or saying. Oh, no, we, just injured in a crash, I get that, and I can yours. sit there and blur the face out, right? And that's that's uh, that's why I'm not live, right? I know. I know. And, and I can. I've dealt with you. You've been super decent. You're decent right now. I know you're not trying to be disrespectful, right? But I'm not just let to me film either. so I can blur out the. So. I don't want to put her the lady's information out there or show her blood on her face that I just got. I know. I can blur that out. I know. You but can. when you want to play this type of bullshit, it doesn't make you guys look good, right? I, there are videos that go all over that I don't want to put out, right? I got one on Clue Clock I never put out. I got one on a multiple when you guys were up at the hotel with that one guy. I couldn't put that one out, right? But this stuff is is stupid, okay. right? Now I gotta go up and pull your personnel file. I gotta go up and do all this shit because you wanna play stupid games of this is not a crime scene. This is a car accident. Okay. Like you get the difference between the two? You, you had the training, right? Like this is not a crime scene. If you were to arrest me for crossing police tape for a crime scene investigation, there is no crime. Because it's not a crime scene, right? Okay. Just like an obstruction charge. It's not obstruction. Okay. Right? I'm not physically hindering you from doing your job. I'm not obstructing firefighters i'm not obstructing paramedics i'm standing there filming quietly to show look at what happened in plymouth because you guys are doing a good job getting auto extrication done right and i'll blur out the stuff i'm not out there trying to put people's like you said pri privacy right. there's stuff that should be blurred out but this type of shit is stupid this is what earns law enforcement hate okay right do i need to spend and show up now and still go on you guys for parking in fire lanes no turn signals all this stupid shit is that what we need to do again oh, i don't know you know why there's two sergeants that are not allowed to engage with me right with you guys i wasn't aware yeah so yeah. Okay. Because of this stupid shit. Okay. This is how you want to represent in the city of Plymouth when we got bigger things going on in this city. This is this is truly your decision, right? Or was it an order from someone else? I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Uh, All right. Well, how far are we going this way? Again, guys, that was Minnesota News Now talking to an officer the way a father would speak to a disobedient child. I'll leave links in the description and in the comments so that you can head over there, subscribe, ring the bell, and check out some more of his awesome content.